the family of Mubi stands as a middleman between the white and the black. So any time the white men came to Badagri to buy slaves from the chief called Chief Sungu Mobi. From a chief called what? Chief Sungu Mobi. Chief Sungu Mobi stands as a middleman between the white and the black. But the police normally welcome the white. They welcome the white. But they speak his own language to the white. But they normally speak Yoruba language. Speak what? A Yoruba language. Normally speak that Emu OBJ. Emu OBJ. This is the cola. This is cola not. Cola not in Yoruba called Obi. Cola not in Yoruba called what? Obi. The chief always speak his own language, the white pilot. Emu OBJ. Emu OBJ. That's take cola not and eat. Take cola and eat. That's the meaning of Emu OBJ. So the white couldn't speak in English. I mean, the white couldn't speak his own language. The white man couldn't speak what? His own language. And the chief couldn't speak in English to the white man. And so the so anytime the white man came, the white man nicknamed the chief, Chief Mabi, Chief Mabi, Chief Mabi, because the chief always speak to Robert them that MOBJ now nicknamed to Chief MOBJ. So the family doing the slave trade, buying and selling people as slaves. But this is the money, the golden days money. And it was called what? Cowries. Cowries money. This is the olden days money. Called what? Cowries. So, this is the olden days money. No, we are talk talking about this money in the over there. And this is the chain. Oh, used on the slave labor. Now, this is used for the necks of the slaves. This has been around the slave neck not for the slave to run away and this guy slave not to run away and this has been around the slave neck for 18 hours with this heavy of this chain any one of you want to try this on the neck do you feel like try it on the neck you want to see how it is heavy oh, but let me try it first let me try it first should i try it first okay oh, do you see now this is Balok here, and the slaves who walk with this on the neck, and they are have to be on the single file. The chains long and big on the file walk with this on the neck. This is the called the slave. I mean the chain used on slave neck. Now, off the food. Sorry. So, now we need to try. Now, no, 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 Now, let them try to open Okay, give me okay. a book and Oreo Minä Wow, that's so good. Hey, let's take a look at the camera. I'm going to take a look at the camera. I'm going to take a look at the camera. I'm going to take a look at Niin kun pitää tunnin, kuukauden, kaksi. Pitää 15 minuuttia. Okei. Nyt. 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 Of the slaves, for two people's leg, walk together at the same time. Come. No, no. Now, let's join these two legs together. 
this is the one of the slave leg. This is just a sample, the one of the slave leg and that slave leg. Now, two people have to walk together at the same time. This is used for the leg. And they use a lock to lock the chair. I mean, to lock the chair. And the slaves have to walk with this. Let's try to walk together. Now, you can see that two people walk together at the same time. Two people walk, yes. So this, the one for the neck and the one for the leg of the slaves. Now, this is used for the mouth of the slaves. You know, two people are walking together and they are not allowed the two people to communicate. They didn't allow the two slaves to communicate or to eat anything in the farm. They perforated the two meat of the slaves. They have to make O up here and down here. And they draw the lips of the slaves out of this place. And they use a lot to lock the slave mouth. This is just a straight example. You. Out of the slips. Now, this is used <coughs> for the children. This is used for the children. This is used to tie the hands of children. So they can join the hands of the children together, join the own hands of the children together, and get the children to sit down somewhere and wash their parents. Busy walking on the farms. This is used for the hands of children, not for them to be roaming about in farms or disturbing their parents. Now, this is called the anchor. This is called what? Anchor. The anchor used for stubborn slaves who refuse to walk on farm. For the stubborn slave refuse to walk to walk on farms. The false hands of the stubborn slaves into their wrist and they lose these knots and they have to take the body of the slaves on top of the tree and the one of the slaves hang on top of the tree for morning tonight and the slave has to suspend or for money tonight. So we can see that the full weight of the body rests on the what? The one hands. The weight of the body of the slave rests on the one hand. So slave, the hands of the slave suspend up and the legs suspend up hanging on top of the tree. Not so you can see this is used for the hanging of slave on top of the tree. Now, now this is called the Now look at this. One. Look at this. This is called the iron branded. The iron what? Branded. And this was set into the fire. And this is turned to the red hot irons. The masters turned the back of the slaves. I use this one to write the names of the slaves. That be the name of the master. The name of the owner at the back of the slaves. What's the name? Did they? Now, did they? Did they? Now, this is Did Did is from Nigeria. And Did they went to all the way from America and bought slaves. So Did they have to write his own name at the back of the slaves? Did they Nigeria? He wrote at the back of the slaves. So that when your slaves get to the hero, they can be able to identify that this is the Jide's place. This is the Jide's <coughs> place. Now, so they have to, to identify the slaves that you bought from Africa. So, and they have to write the names of the slaves, the name of the owner at the back of the slaves. Maybe the Jide bought 300 slaves. Did they have to write the 
his own name at the back of the all the 300 slaves. So with these red hot irons. And this also used for those that run away being caught. They have to pull the leg of the slaves on the falling tree. Now the leg of the slave being on the falling tree just like this. Now they have to set this into the full leg. And they use hammer. The hammer to nail this one. <coughs> nail this one into the full leg of the slaves. Because they try to run away. They have to use this one to form the slave foot. Now this is the this is the what the cannon guns. The cannon guns normally shot three times in a day. Cannons shot what? Excuse me. Cannon guns shot what? How many times in a day? Three times in a day. Morning, afternoon, and night. Morning, afternoon, and night. Morning, slaves going to the farm to work. Afternoon, the slave returning from the farm back home, back to the slave, back to the prison. But in the night, nobody should be stepped outside. In the night, nobody should be stepped outside. Anybody caught outside in the night, captured and sold into slavery. I'm talking about the indigenous of Badagri. The indigenous found outside in the night, captured and sold into slavery. Because Badagi Indigen was not sold into slavery. The Badagi Indigen was not sold into what? Into the slavery. Because slaves that we're talking about brought from Interland, from different parts of the state in Nigeria, they brought slaves down to Badagi. Slaves were brought from Interland, from different parts of the state in Nigeria, brought the slaves down to Badagi. Badagi have a market. Badagi have what? A market. A slave market where human being was sold where what the human being was sold into slavery now the name of the market that we have in badagri we are the selling human being name of the market called vilicated slave market Vili what vilicated slave market v l a k e t e vilicated slave market established in 1502 the market established in what year 1502. That's the biggest, largest slave market that we have in, in West Africa. The biggest was the largest slave market that we have in West Africa. It was called the Vilicated Slave Market, established in 1502. But how many slaves were sold every day? How many slaves were sold every day? 300 slaves were sold every day. How many slaves were sold every day? 300 slaves were sold every day. Then, what are the things the white men using to buy slaves? What are the things the white men using to buy slaves? The white men have to come here with a gun. The hunts are the one the hunts are used for exchange of 45 slaves. They have to come here with a mirror for exchange of 35 slaves. They have to come here with umbrella for exchange of 40 slaves. They have to come here with a driving for exchange of 10 able human beings. And they have to come here with a packet of matches for exchange of 5 able human beings. And they have to come here with a spoon exchange of 3 able human beings. These are the negotiation process to the point of no return. The negotiation process to the what? The way? Point of no return. There's a place in Badagi called the point of no return. We have to take a boat. A paddle boat to get to the highland. So the highland is between the ocean and the lagoon. This water, it was called the lagoon water. So when we cross this water to the highland, so we say the highland is between the ocean and the lagoon. We have to walk on the island to see the Atlantic Ocean. And that's when we saw the door of no return. The door of what? No returns. So slave have to one slave march through the doors and they load them into the bigger ship and take the slave take away from Africa, take him to the Europe, Portugal, America, Brazil, different countries, taking the slave through. Now there's a well, there's a particular well on the middle of the island. 
The highland we're talking about is between the ocean and the lagoon. We have what? A well. So the well it was dug by the whites that are coming here to buy slaves. But they call the well attenuation well. The well it was called what? Attenuation well. The well it was dug around 15 centuries. But any slaves that marching on the roots, they have to force the slave to drink the water. The first all slave to drink the water because the world has been champs. The Africans have the powers, they have the spiritual power, was given to the white men. So the white men draw the spiritual power into the world of the slaves. And any slave that drink the water, slave lost their memory. Slave are not remember the place they're going or the place they're coming from. And they call the place point of no return, journey to a new destination. Because none of the slaves knowing the destination where they're going. And none of them knowing the place they're returning back. So that is the place called the point of no return. And this is the slave drinking water bowl. The slave drinking what? Water bowl. They have to tie the hands of the slave at the back. And they remove the padlock. You know, they have the padlock from the mouth. They have to remove the padlock from slave mouth. And he told every one of the slaves to bend down. You know, slave have to bend down, drink. Slave went down to drink water, like slave are now use cup to drink water. They have to bend to drink water. And some of them getting injured, using their head to chop the head of this. The blood flowed into the water of the slaves, and the slaves still continue drinking like that. And this is the slave drinking water bowl. Now, this is the grave of the chief. The grave of the what? The chief. What is the name of the chief? Chief Sungu Mobi. Chief what? Sungu Mobi. Chief Sungu Mobi stand as the middleman between the white and the black. But he later joined, he signed the letter of the abolition of state trade. He later signed the what? The letter of the abolition of state trade with missionaries. And this is the Ajoga. Ajoga in Badagri traditional musical instrument. Badagri traditional was musical instrument. All the women play this instrument, dancing and singing to the tone of a musical instrument. This is the how the women in Badagri beating this gun they have the different sound. Look at this, all this sound. This gun have the word different sound. This is how they're beating it. And this, this is the Adoga in Badagri traditional language, beat by the women in Badagri. Adoga, Badagri traditional musical instrument language, beaten by the women in Badagri. All the women beating this gun. Now, thank you very much. Some of the male slaves, 
work in our tombs. You know, they do castration, some of the males do that work at tombs. They call them domestic slaves. These are the people they call what? Domestic slaves. They are working at tombs. They are removed the test organs, not for them to perform any homes. So you no, know, they are working at home, they've been, I mean, at home with the wife of their masters, not for them to have anything with their wife of the masters. They do consider the some of the male slaves. They normally grow up abnormals. And that is the the agony of the captured slaves. Agony of what? The captured slaves. And this is the dates when slavery it was stopped in different parts of the country. Slave trade stopped in British West Indies, 1833. Slave trade stopped in Australia, 1861. Slave trade stopped, of course, Frederick Douglass, Marcus Garvey, Captain John Brown, and Tuesday Lubashos. These are those that raised the abolition of the slave trade in Africa. But now we have some African people who participated in the abolition of slave trade. But because of the lack of the education that we have, our name was not written to the history book, history book of the abolitions. And but the slave trade finally stopped in Badagri 1886. After slave trade lasted in Badagri for 400 years. Slave trade lasted in Badagri for how many years? 400 years. This is the what we have in this museum. And this museum is managed by the family in Badagri called Mobi Family. Thank you very much for coming to Mobi Family Slave Redis Museum. So my name is Mr. Ezekiel Sotegi Diabunu. So the curator of the first story building in Nigeria. I'm, I'm also working here before. So I worked here before, so work here as a tour guide here before, before I was being moved to the first story building in Nigeria. So I'm only, I, was, uh, I have to be the manager of the first story building in Nigeria today. Thank you very much. So you're welcome. Now, two, I mean, four of women standing in front, holding this, and you have to bend like this. Look at me very well. Bend like this. See me? Like this. This is how they're beating it. Now, you know this? Now, hold this. Now, see? Now, the women beating this, some of them being at the back, beating these guns at the back, and some of them being in the front, doing like this, singing with tune of the musical instrument. You know, we have the language of the history, but because of the lack of the education that we have, our name was not written to the history book, history book of the abolitions. And but the slavery finally stopped in Badagri 1886. After slave trade lasted in Badagi for 400 years. Slave trade lasted in Badagi for how many years? 400 years. This is the what we have in this museum. 
and this museum is managing by the family in Badagri called Mobi Family. Thank you very much for coming to Mobi Family's Play Ready.